Hi guys, this is Neha and once again I welcome you all to my YouTube channel about technology. Well in our today's tutorial we will be discussing an important element of computer system that is kernel. Here I will notify you about where the kernel is located on your system, what is its working process, how to know what version of kernel you are using and whether you are allowed to update your kernel or not. So without further delay, let's get started. So what is kernel? Basically it is a part of operating system, a program that keeps on running all the time on computer. This program starts as soon as you boot up your system. So it becomes the first program that is loaded into main memory for its execution. This program stays in main memory until you shut your system down. Now you must be wondering that why do we actually need this kernel? Well it acts as an interface between applications and hardware of your system. It helps applications by providing resources that they require for the successful functioning. Now let's move toward the functioning of kernel. We all are aware the first code that executes when the system boots up is the bootstrap program, which is located in read-only memory of your system, that is ROM. It is the bootstrap program that initializes the operating system of your computer. For this, the bootstrap code first identify and place the kernel into the main memory of your system and start executing it. Here the kernel wait for some event to occur. The occurrence of event is signaled by an interrupt. So whenever user application or software requires system resources, it interrupt kernel via system call. This intimate kernel about the requirement of user application. The kernel then communicates to hardware about the services that user application require and provide it to them. The kernel is even responsible for checking out the memory space for proper execution of application program. So if we talk about the responsibilities of kernel, it is responsible for memory management, process management, task management and disk management. Now if we talk about the types of kernel, kernel can be modeled into two variants that is micro kernel and monolithic kernel. The micro kernel is a small size kernel which is assigned only with few responsibilities that is managing address space, inter-process communication and basic scheduling. However, monolithic kernel is assigned with more responsibilities such as managing scheduling, file system, networking, device drivers, memory management and many more. In micro kernel all the kernel processes has separate address space whereas in monolithic kernel all kernel processes share same address space. Well with this figure you can get a clear picture of micro kernel and monolithic kernel. You can notice how the kernel space is distributed in both the models. Now let us discuss how to know which kernel you are using and of what version. Well, no matter what device you are using, go into its settings window and check out its about page. Every detail of your device is mentioned there along with the details of kernel. I think most of the users use Windows 10 operating system. So here I will tell you how to identify kernel version in Windows 10. First, open your system's setting window. There you have to click on system. In navigation panel of system window you have to click on about and there you will get all the details of your system along with the kernel version. Now you must be curious whether you can update your kernel or not. Well in Windows 10 your kernel get updated automatically via normal Windows update mechanism. However in Linux which is an open source software anyone can decompile, examine and modify the code to update the kernel. But you must be privileged to change these settings. So this is all about kernel. If you like this video please share this with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel about technology. Keep checking the channel for further updates and put your comment and queries in the section below. We'll be back again soon with a new video. Till then take a good care of yourself.